Hello. Yes, I'm back. Uh, it feels like it's been a really long time. I know, I know. I treat y'all so bad. I barely give y'all any content, but it's gonna change. So today, I wanted to do something kind of fun, mainly stupid. Yes, I'm going to be sharing my opinions on the internet, so wish me luck. So if you aren't very familiar with these type of videos, I will be sharing my one-sentence K-pop opinions, which basically means I cannot elaborate. They will only be one sentence. But if you want me to elaborate, just ask and I will do so. Anyway, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. In terms of talent, I don't think Somi is that special. She has the potential, but for me personally, I don't think the music industry is her place. 90% of the time, the visual and rap position is there to cover up the fact that some members are useless. Out of Blackpink, I think Jennie is the only one with solo potential. All three Blackpink solos have been either mediocre or bad. Hopefully Jisoo's will be okay, but... Coming from YG, mm, it's probably not. I know some of y'all are going to be mad, but I think BTS finally hit their popularity peak. Although I'm a blink, I have to admit, Blackpink's music is pretty lackluster. The LGBTQ representation in K-pop is mostly, if not all, queer baiting. I'm slowly losing interest in ITZY. I don't know if it's their concept, but yeah, they're getting pretty boring. Online concerts are stupid and a scam. If you pay for one, red flag. You obviously love to waste money. Hyunning Bahi may have gained some popularity due to her brother, but that doesn't give you the right to hate on her. If K-pop is further pushed into the western market, it won't feel like a personal liking anymore, but rather a trend. Although TWICE's releases this year have been relatively mediocre besides alcohol-free, they're not that bad. BTS and Blackpink are popular for their name, not music anymore. There's a lot of great K-pop producers, but Yoongi isn't one of them. Stop fighting the inevitable. There will always be a popular and least popular member in a group. At this point, you are only wasting your time. A lot of K-pop stands don't have a sense of humor when it comes to picking fun at your faves. Like some of y'all get really mad when we talk about height difference, like it's not that deep. K-pop stands need to stop acting like they know what's better for their faves. You think you know them, but you really don't, so stop speaking for them. The obsession in woke culture in K-pop is causing misinformation and misled representation. Liking a popular slash unpopular group doesn't make you seemingly more special. Not all lores are good and slash or interesting. Luna. Blackpink is not mistreated. Y'all are just too blind to recognize marketing strategies. Johnny is liked more in terms of personality rather skill slash talent. Y'all are not gonna like this one, but Itzy's Cheryeong can't have an arrow because she's not interesting enough. <sighs> Ouch. If people are going to shit on noise music, they need to include Idol by BTS. Groups like Secret Number and Weekly are genuinely overhyped. Pretending your faves can't be mean slash rude is stupid and a bit delusional. Permission to dance was to feed into the western market due to COVID relations. Yeah, I saw right through that. Beauty is subjective, but I think there is a visual hole when it comes to popularity of one's visual. Hopefully that made sense. I'm really enjoying the Y2K or 2000s era playing out in K-pop right now. It definitely brings me back to my childhood. And lastly, Next Level deserves Song of the Year. I don't care what anyone says. Yes, the song sounds like three songs in one. Who cares? It's unique. She's fabulous and I love her so much. And that concludes today's video. I know this one was pretty short, so here's another video you also might like. Well, I truly hope you enjoyed today's commentary, and if you did, please give your girl a like. And if you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, besties. I'll see y'all next week. Toodles!